Welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about my least used makeup products. I've done videos like this in the past. Actually, when I first started my channel, I did a video called Makeup That I've Hardly Used. And I did a video, I think last winter, talking about my least used eyeshadow palettes. So a big thing for me this year on my low buy is trying to rotate through my makeup collection and get good use out of my products. What I did was I looked through different categories and I found some of my least used items in each category. So I thought I would do a full face of my least used products and see how it turns out. Primer and foundation, I don't have very many of those, so I don't really have anything that really fits the least used, but I thought it would be fun to do this anyway. The eyeshadow palettes, I will say that was probably the one I had the most options for, sadly, because I have quite a few palettes that I've probably used less than 10 times probably about nine or 10 palettes, but I did decide to go with the Sweet Talk palette by ColourPop. I think I've only used this maybe four or five times ever, which is really sad because I purchased this, I think at the beginning of 2020. I know, and this is in my makeup capsule for the month, and actually one of you guys did ask me if I could do a look with this palette and also one with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'll try to see if I can still do that one, but I thought this would be the perfect eyeshadow palette pick for this video, so let's get started. All I'm wearing on my face so far is my Pretty Vulgar Eye Primer, and I did set that down with a small amount of this color here. Um, yeah, this is a really pretty palette. It makes me sad I've hardly used it. So I think I'm gonna start with this light warm brown in the crease. It's called Work It. And as you can tell, my palette, I have removed the glitter shades because I've mentioned before, um, my eyes are a little sensitive to those. I've tried them in the past and yeah, it did not work out. And I also wear contacts, so I don't use the glitter shades. And I took them out because they were kind of like crumbling through the palette, which is kind of annoying. So yeah, but the rest of this palette I think is really, really nice. So I don't know if this is just because I haven't used this palette in a while, but I'm kind of having a hard time picking anything up on the brush. I mean, I'm like really digging in there. And there's, that's kind of weird because most ColourPop mattes are a um, bit more powdery. Huh, that's weird. I don't know, this palette's not even that old. Hmm, not sure. And this is a clean brush too. Okay, I have some color there, but uh, I don't know, that was a little difficult. I'm gonna go with this pinky peach shade called Dream Maker. Same thing, fluffy brush. Gonna put this in the crease. Okay, that shade went much better. This color, Meadow, it's pretty similar to this other one. It's maybe just a bit darker. I don't know. I'm gonna use a little bit of this one too. I might as well try to use as many shades out of the palette since, yeah, it doesn't really look that different than that other shade. Um, yeah, I remember thinking the same thing about this palette whenever I used it sometime last year, that those two shades were pretty similar. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and add this, up, this one, which again is only like a slightly darker version of those two other shades. I'm still using the same brush. I'm gonna put that in the outer corner. I mean, I will say these colors are beautiful. I mean, like, Pinky, peachy, orangey. I really like those kind of shades, so. I do think they look nice. And then, darkening things up with this one. It's a dark purple and it's called Feel Free. So, this color I remember is pretty pigmented. I have actually, I one of the few times that I did wear this palette in like a whole look, I actually put that dark purple all over the lid and the crease and then just kind of like blended that out with the lighter mattes and I really, really did like that. Yeah, look how powdery this one looks compared to this one where, yeah, I don't know, it must be hard panned or something, but. Um, okay, so as far as a lid shade, I will say, so this Super Shock Shadow is, it's a bit on the sheer side 
And the only other super shock shadow I have that's in a palette is the one in the So Jaded palette. And I've tried tons of them in the pod. I feel like the ones they've put in palettes, at least in the two palettes I've tried, they're more oily and they tend to crease my eyeshadow, which is unfortunate, but my eyeshadow creases easily because my eyelids are oily. Uh, so yeah, but this shade Garden Date, whoa, this is beautiful. I, yeah, I think I've only used this color like one time ever. I know it's sad. Definitely using some setting spray and this is the brush from one of the Urban Decay palettes. I actually really, really like it. Wow, this shade is so beautiful. It's like peach and gold and coral and a bit of orange. Okay, that's that's spectacular. <laughs> I really like that color. Yeah, so I'm very sad that I've been neglecting this palette because honestly, like this is a really pretty color story and Looking through my collection, I don't really have any colors exactly like this. So uh, now that I'm using it, I am definitely impressed. I added a bit of the purple in the outer corner again because it kind of got faded away. And then I'm using the lighter peachy shades to just kind of blend things out a little bit. But I gotta say, I mean, that lid shade, wow, it's amazing. Definitely should not have been neglecting this palette. And this is one that was pretty hyped up on YouTube for a while there. People were talking about it. But yeah, it's it's pretty, what can I say? I'm gonna do a brow bone highlight with the cream color. I need to tweeze my eyebrows, oh my gosh. But it's fine. I did winged liner and put some eyeliner in my tight line and I put on some primer because I don't really have any like least used for those categories because I don't own very many. So I used the NYX Angel Veil. And actually as far as foundation, I don't really have any like that least used because I don't own that many. So that's a good thing. Um, I'm gonna go with Estee Lauder Double Wear and I am gonna put on some of the Hollywood Flawless Filter just cause I really, really like this or, you know, an added glow. This is an amazing makeup product that I really, really enjoy. So I just mix in the Flawless Filter with my foundation, just kind of like on my face and it works totally fine. So I didn't have anything least used for foundation or eyeliner or primer, which is good. I do have a concealer though that I just haven't used that much because I bought it in the wrong shade. I've talked about it before. When I repurchased my favorite CoverGirl concealer, I bought a shade that was too light. Um, and so that is in a project pan now, but I haven't really used it because I'm working on two other concealers and projects. So I'll use that one. Because this is too light though, I'm gonna have to mix in a little bit of the Berry M concealer. So this is in light. Ivory and actually one of you guys told me thank you so much that the color I did previously have of the cover girl was a classic ivory. So Yeah, I mean, it looks like stark white on my under eyes. Oh Man, that was silly of me. I mean honestly half the shades shade names sound the same. So That looks way better I do have a face powder for this video, and that is this one by Ciate London that I got in BoxyCharm last year. It's called the Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. I used this a couple of times last year when I got it, but then, I don't know, I just don't love these like white kind of powders. Although this one, if you put like a really small amount it doesn't leave a white cast, so I'll give it that. I just kind of used other powders. I don't know. I don't have like a very good reason. This is a nice powder. It does smell like coconut, which, you know, is nice. I know some people say like coconut products break them out, uh, but I don't know if this is just coconut scented. I don't know. It's fine. I mean, it's a translucent setting powder. So with a small amount like that, it's perfectly okay. I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil under my eyes as usual because it's the only under eye powder I even own. Under eyes are set. 
For a barely used contour, I actually do have this. This is from Sleek, and this is something I got in PR last year. It's called the Face Form Palette. And there's a contour highlighter and a blush. This is really nice. I think this is something I got it in PR and I liked it. I used it a couple times, but then I kind of moved on to like using my project pan items basically. Pretty pigmented though, that I do remember. Yeah, so I have to like really tap off my brush before using it, but it's really nice. I'll use some other cheek products, even though that palette as a whole, it's been neglected, that's for sure. My least used bronzer, you know, I was looking at my bronzers and I've got some pretty good use on most of my bronzers. A lot of them have been in my Project 100 uses, so I have used them quite a bit. Um, the Butter Bronzer is my least used, but I've repurchased this. I have finished one of these in the past, and so this is a repurchase, and this one, I mean, I've still probably used this one a good like 30 times, so it's not really that neglected, but as far as my bronzers go, it's definitely the most neglected out of the ones I have. Least used blush. I gotta say, I do a decent job at rotating through my blush collection and I haven't bought that many blushes in the last couple of years. I really kind of <laughs> toned it down on my blush purchasing. However, this face palette by Shaney Cosmetics, I've only used this a few times. It is nice though. These are really pigmented though, so I have to be very careful. I'm gonna go with this lightest peach shade because I do feel like peach will definitely work with this eye look. I'm barely putting any of this on, but it's, it's pretty pigmented. I also just don't really tend to reach for my blush palettes as much, which is why I need to not buy them anymore because I don't know, something about a blush palette, I just don't reach for it. If it's a combo palette with like blush, highlighter, and bronzer, then I will use it. Although not the sleek ones, so that, you know, okay, maybe that's not a very good example, but I don't know. My blush palettes definitely get neglected. Least used highlighter, sadly, is this one that I've been holding from Ofra. It is called Retrograde. And this is something I got in PR last year. It's really pretty. So this is their highlighter in Neptune, this purple, and then this one is Star Island. So I'm gonna go with Star Island, that side of it, just because I think it's gonna go with this look better. But I love the Ofra highlighters. I just think, wow, yeah, okay, I probably put too much on. I just think they're really, really good. They're really pigmented, but I don't know. I think it's like I got this in PR, I reviewed it, and then, yeah, I just went back to working on Project Pan items, so. But I definitely love this highlighter. It's very lovely, very intense, though. I did my lower lash line, and I used this color here and a little bit of this color. I did some finishing powder. Um, I actually have a brow product though. I don't use my brow pencils all that often. I prefer pomade and I've mentioned it before, I noticed that when I was using brow pencil every single day, I felt like it was kind of pulling my brow hairs out. And when I stopped using brow pencils every day, my eyebrows grew in better, so. But I like this one from NYX. I do think it's good. I'm just not a brow pencil person, but this is the micro brow pencil. And yeah, so I'm just gonna do a little filling in with this. I used my e.l.f. brow gel, it's the only brow gel I have, and then I did mascara, L'Oreal, again, don't have that many mascaras. For a lip product, I did find this, which I've only used once. This is also something I got in PR. I'm seeing a little bit of a trend of a couple things here that I got in PR, which I don't even get that much stuff in PR, but I think I'll tend to review something and then I'll put it away, work on other things. So this is the Ofra Flexi Slick in Velvet and it's a purple. It's very pretty, but yeah, I've only used this once. I do have two other colors of the Flexi Slicks and I really, really do like this formula. It's like kind of a shiny liquid lipstick. It's but it's not quite as shiny as a gloss, if that makes sense. I don't even know if this is gonna go with this look, but you know, I'm gonna try it. I know that I like this formula. I just don't tend to wear bold lip colors very often. Alrighty, this is the final look. And I do think this lip color is beautiful, but it is a bit difficult to apply because it's such a bold color and it's not a matte formula. You know, it definitely feels creamy on the lips but it's very comfortable and I like that it gives a bit of shine. As you can see, it's not as shiny as a lip gloss, but 
Yeah, again, I, I just don't really wear purple lipstick very often, but I do think this is nice. And the one I have in a nude color, I do wear that fairly often. Let me give some final thoughts on these products. The lip color is nice. Again, I just don't wear super bold colors. The palette, wow, okay, I've been sleeping on this palette and I've owned it for over a year. This is beautiful, I love this eye look. Corally, orangey, but pinky. I think these are unique. I really don't think I have anything exactly like these. I mean, my only complaints were, this was kind of weird that this really didn't have much pigment, so I just think it's a bit hard panned, but that's an easy fix. These colors here just look very similar to each other, but they're beautiful. The dark purple is really nice. That's a well-formulated dark purple right there. And this metallic shade Garden Date that I put all over the lid, I mean, that's, that's a stunning color. Wow, it's so multi-dimensional. And it, because in the pan, it just kind of looks like an orangey coral, but yeah, on the eyes, it's also got that gold, a bit of pink. Beautiful, so big win on the palette right there. The highlighter, I mean, I knew that I loved this highlighter because I love the Ofra formula and I have quite a few, but I just think it kind of got pushed to the back of the drawer and I have plenty of other highlighters. This, I do need to use this more too because this, this was a nice contour, I thought, but it's pigmented, so I had to be careful with that. But from when I got it, I do remember I really like this blush, which actually that blush would have gone really well with this look. But the Shaney palette, again, this is super pigmented, so I have to be very, very careful, but I use the lightest shade and I do like it. It doesn't look quite as blended as I think my other blushes would be, but I think that's you know because of the high pigmentation. The Butter Bronzer, I mean, I already knew I liked that because I've repurchased. This powder though, I gotta say, my foundation looks nice and it doesn't look like super powdery or anything. I think with a very light hand, this is a nice powder. So I need to pull this out, but right now I am working on two powders in Project Pans. So who knows when I'll use this next, but actually I think I like the finish quite a bit. And the brow pencil I like, but looking at my brows, I feel like I prefer them when I use my pomade. That's just kind of my favorite thing, but I do think that this is a nice brow pencil. That is it for this video. Let us know if you have neglected products in your collection too. I know I can't be the only one, but now that I've used these after probably, who knows when the last time I even used these products, but particularly the palette, I'm very excited about that. I need to use it more. So yeah, let us know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.